Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rogues and Real Players. All right, lovebirds. You've had enough time. Just take the damn necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Are safe? I've been standing here for the past five years <laughs> holding that necklace up, waiting for you to take it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say anything. <laughs> well, at least he said something. <laughs> Oh my god. He's such the strong, silent type. <laughs> I don't know, he's kind of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't say anything. <laughs> okay, so this is kind of where, like, the change happens, because this game has a different structure where it has different main characters. Okay, cool. So now, we are Ethan <clears throat> Forrester. Alrighty. And it's this little, it's this kid here. And he is currently holding the title of the ruler of the House Forester. He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. One. He's just <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. With all the damn ones. I'm using this other die. We have a third one. I'm gonna try that one. Okay. <laughs> Look who we found. He just like inflates oh, and triples in size. <laughs> <laughs> I've been spotted. <laughs> All the spikes come like pointing out of him. <laughs> it's a defense mechanism. <laughs> All right, I got, I got the, I got a different die. We got three different D4s. I'm using the third one now <laughs> because hope because we've been getting so many ones. <laughs> I need to try this one. <laughs> Even the old die was like, nope, one. <laughs> Four. <laughs> okay, we're getting better luck with this one. <laughs> Tell me what Garrett did, but it must have oh been Oh my serious. god. I heard Duncan and Sir Roiland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir I don't Roiland know, the barista at Starbucks. <laughs> he said, <laughs> you're always there, asking for outlandish shit, and you just kind of stop showing up one day. <laughs> I don't like Starbucks. Too. I discovered Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, what I'm capable of. They have ice cream flavor <laughs> coffee. <laughs> I'm gonna keep using this tie because this one's getting us a little bit more variety than just fucking one. <laughs> Damn it, green dye, I trusted you. You're my favorite color. Why do you betray me and give us so many ones? <laughs> Asher, we'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Oh, Asher. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. <laughs> we had so much fun before you were born. <laughs> now we just come here to cry. <laughs> <laughs> because you're here now. <laughs> Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. <laughs> I know a lord has many responsibilities. One. I, don't need to <laughs> <laughs> I can't exactly promise I won't change. <laughs> I kind of like the idea of becoming a murderous asshole. Ah, <laughs> uh, damn it, D4s, they just... Uh, what would they do, bleed on me? Everyone will have to do as you say. Oh, God. Funny it with that simple. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. One! <laughs> what the hell? Oh my goodness. I'm using three different dies. Are you sure that you're like really rolling it? Okay, I'm gonna try. Or are you putting, just like setting it down? I'm gonna try giving it more. I'm gonna try giving it more effort. <laughs> oh my god. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. Uh oh. He's come demanding justice. Uh oh. Can't 
team hmm. Duncan? That's not he good. Is the Castellan. It's never Stay good when the White Hills show up. Easy, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. Hmm. You are the Lord. Uh, we got it too. I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I'd rather stay here. Tell him I'm busy at the moment. Perhaps the Lord could play games after he tends to business. He's right. Perhaps you could just go. lay on your own sword. Fine. That's an option, isn't it? I mean, I am the Lord. You got to do what I say. <laughs> I would like to politely remind the Lord that he is a complete and total little bitch. <laughs> He's my bitch. Oh my god, everybody just has a bitch in this series. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking that dude is Richard Carn every time I see him. <laughs> He kind of looks like him, actually. Well, he's got the beard and everything. And they put Richard Carnes' face over him. <laughs> Every time you see him, I want us to be talking to Richard Carn. <laughs> hey, Richard Carn. There he is. <laughs> oh my god. It makes no difference. You should have been the star of Tool Time. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so, my lord. <laughs> Okay, we got four. What should I say to him? Well? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Richard Gardens. <laughs> Only cowards and dead men go over. Uh oh. Who is this man? It's Lord Whitehill. At least we have Richard Carden on our side. Yeah, we'll be fine with Richard <laughs> Karn. Hopefully. Nah, we will. <laughs> Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Two. But to his family, it's still a loss. <laughs> your hands are covered in chicken grease. <laughs> I just ate a chicken. <laughs> my only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this mm. day all my life. One. <laughs> I rolled it good that time, I swear. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> Hold your tongue, you coward. And no bread and salt. Uh, come on, Lord what Ethan. Kind of you can't fail us. Bread and salt? Bread and salt. You I'll give you a salt. No ha ha. <laughs> I should have expected as much. Three. Bloody foresters. But first you must go grill Richard Carn a cheese. <laughs> go grill him a cheese. <laughs> I will not grill Richard Carn a cheese. <laughs> Richard Carn, would you like a cheese? Uh, yes, grilled please. <laughs> grill him a cheese. <laughs> well, Richard Carn really loves his cheese. I mean, that, that's the best way to serve him is to, you know, grill his cheese. <laughs> Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Uh, two. We all serve uh, house uh, now. I actually hit the wrong button. Damn. <laughs> Sorry, I took a little while. <laughs> the, the, the problem with this die is that it's it, there's one side that's kind of difficult to read. So I have to get like a. Yeah, that is kind of a little trippy color scheme. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm showing him the die right now, and it's kind of a trippy color scheme, but it's the one that's been giving us the best results. <laughs> Hail Caesar! <laughs> oh my god, he actually has that hairstyle. <laughs> I like grapes and togas. <laughs> oh, that's right. The Colosseum. Four. Not go to your Colosseum. You like grapes? No, I don't. <laughs> it's funny because Lord Whitehill is actually a, is a really big dude. <laughs> Four. <laughs> so they're here uh, looking for uh, for goat turtle. Okay. But he's been sent to the wall, so they can't go after him. Okay. Hmm. Two. I was kind of hoping for a four. <laughs> <laughs> you little liar! I will find him. 
By the gods, you better hope I do, because if I don't, no, you I'm won't. holding you responsible. <laughs> and you'll answer for what he's done. No, you won't. Have you grilled Richard Card's cheese yet? <laughs> See, that's the main important task here, okay? If you don't grill his cheese, he will become angry, and you won't like it when Richard Card is angry. Editor, give us an act of quest on the screen. Grill Richard Card a cheese. <laughs> There's no check mark on this one yet. <laughs> we have a bit of a problem, don't we, Lord Whitehill? <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is complete a problem. The, complete the quest or you get no reward. My <laughs> castle, my rules. <laughs> uh, four. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, he's... Oh, my God. <laughs> that displeases you. You can always just grill Richard Kahn a cheese. <laughs> I told you no! <laughs> then leave. <laughs> All who visit this home must grill Richard Card a cheese. <laughs> He's just like behind us, just grinning. <laughs> if you come to our home, you must you must worship Richard Khan, and the best way to do so is to give him cheese and grill it. Two. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. I kind of want to make a remix of that line right there. He's like, do as you like. Do, 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 do as you like. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do, 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 do as you like. Whoa, 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 White Hill. <laughs> I, I can actually see that being a really cool remix, actually. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, man. Sorry about that. Bubble. I was grabbing my water and it kind of hit the mic a little bit. <laughs> need to send word to in King's Landing at once. Sorry, I'm just really thirsty. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had a lot of water today. <laughs> That's why I have some nice, refreshing beer. Yeah. <laughs> ah, King's Landing. And now we are Mira Forrester. Oh. So she's also of the Forrester family. Okay, so hence the last name. Yeah. Okay. I thought that was like a profession kind of thing. She's like, I'm not a member of a noble house. I just really like to chop down trees. <laughs> it's a very aberrant behavior, I know, but I named myself after it. Actually, the interesting thing about House Forester is they're known for uh, crafting ironwood. And it's a very, yeah, it's like, it's kind of like to its name, like wood made of iron in a way. <laughs> ah. It's like, basically, it's like very hard wood. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Don't really have to stretch too much for that. <laughs> yeah, just just leave leave it there. <laughs> but yeah, that's what the Forrester family is known for is uh, their craft in uh, ironwood, and everybody is after their ironwood. He gave me this coin to remember him. I will go spend it on an icy pop later. <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember. This is like the stuff that she remembers from her home in House Forester. Oh. But she is currently a maid in uh, King's Landing, which King's Landing is... Let's just say that's where all the bad stuff happens. Okay. So even though she's like a lady of this noble house, she's just a maid in King's Landing. She's a maid in King's Landing. Um, she, I, I believe she's doing this in order to have representation of House Forrester in King's Landing because King's Landing is like essentially that's where the the King's throne is ah. so it's yeah it's a big deal this place King's Landing it's like the largest city capital in the world okay it's big I hope to see them all someday so they pretty much have her there to represent House Forrester in King's Landing but she has to be there as a maid because that was the best way that she could get in there. Oh, alrighty. I believe that's how it worked. Like, you know, I'm sure that I'm, I'm sure I'm probably wrong on some of that. And, you know, I'm sure some people might correct me in the comments. Okay. I believe that's how it went down. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. Okay, so she's pretty much just kind of there to kind of 
give the house a little bit of a uh, little bit of sway in the king's court then exactly okay so she Man, does, that kind of sucks to be her she's totally getting the raw end of that deal yeah <laughs> especially considering that she is a maid yeah. she has she has to serve other people uh in this in this case she serves um oh god what's her name she's a character from the show hmm. <laughs> i'm just gonna come <laughs> in <laughs> She serves me. <laughs> you want to go play in the mud? <laughs> I order you to. <laughs> Four. Uh, evens. Evens. Uh, well, evens was left. Later yes. Would be it's evens is left. Odds is right. Of course, my lady. <laughs> Did we just turn him away? <laughs> yeah. What was he there for? <laughs> He actually becomes important later. Oh. It just like <laughs> opens the door. You want to oh, play the her. mud? Later. Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lady Marjorie. Okay, that's who she serves. Come. There's so Lady Marjorie is actually a character from the show. Okay. Which one of the things I like about this game is they modeled the characters who are from the show very the similarly to the, the actual gone. actors. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I know they kind of did the same thing in uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead. Yeah, I thought they were. There was a little bit of an overlap with some of the characters. Uh, some looked like in the show, some not so much. Yeah, uh, and they actually had like oh, one. And they actually had like the voice actors from, like the actors from the show, voice the characters in this uh, game. Which nice, really cool. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing. Now that I am to be queen. Oh yeah, that's right. She gets summoned by. She gets summoned by the uh, queen mother. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Hmm. To talk to her. <laughs> but should we? Should we confront her next time on Rogues and Role Players? Uh. I say let's uh. She was very pleased with Let's go ahead and find a stopping point. We're gonna work that way. Okay. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, you're a good, <laughs> you're a good maid. You don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, uh, I like you. <laughs> <laughs> You'll do fine talking to the queen mother. Apology of some sort for what I don't. She wants an apology. You won't give it to her because you can't fucking speak apparently. <laughs> so just mime it. <laughs> oh crap! Uh, two. I almost lost the die there for a second. <laughs> Uh, apologize with a very clever mime. <laughs> apologize to a mime or with a mime. <laughs> with a mime. Okay, am I the mime? <laughs> or will there be a mime with me? Do I need to procure my own mime or will there be one appointed to me by the king's court? <laughs> oh god. You're, it's your mime Randa rights. <laughs> <laughs> you have no option but to remain silent. Everything you do will be held against that's you. That's not... <laughs> that's not a good idea for Queen Cersei. <laughs> Queen Cersei is not the best person to be silent in front of. <laughs> but if you're a mime and you've been read your mime Randa rights, then you have to. <laughs> a mime must be silent in front of Queen Cersei. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. This is not good. <laughs> no, boy. No, 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 no. Oh, the wow. Queen Cersei is you can do this. probably the character in the show that I hate the most. But oh. uh, we will speak to her next time on Rogues and Roll. I want to go away. I want to be free. I don't want to walk towards that throne. I want to be free. Let me out. I nope. can look in little circles. <laughs> I want to be a mime. <laughs> you just walk up to Queen Cersei and you and start just... like putting yourself in an invisible box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you throw an invisible lasso around Queen her. Queen Cersei, to her this is the entertainment for the afternoon. <laughs> Please me. <laughs> Make me laugh. <laughs> no, uh, Queen Cersei, it's a mime. They're really not that funny. <laughs> if you Execute her. If you'd like, we can go get Mr. Pig for you. <laughs> oh yes, I do love Mr. Pig. <laughs> See you guys next time. <laughs>